here's a little more info about this project. I used a three quarter inch socket, mainly because of the diameter of it. I needed it to fit the largest clamps that I have. So it fits these, but it also fits the smaller ones, which I use pretty often as well. Most of the time these days when I need to clamp something, I'll reach for these first. Because they're so fast, I can quickly clamp something together. So after I hold something together with, with these, I'm usually going to reach for one of these clamps. They're significantly stronger and for welding, they can handle the heat. The problem is they just take too long to adjust. So with this tool, the idea is to run it up in either direction to get the clamps much closer so I can tighten them by hand. I do the final tightening by hand. I also loosen them up by hand. So because I'm still tightening them by hand, the strength of this isn't an issue and you don't need an incredibly strong impact gun to drive it. Something else the tool comes in handy for, especially if you're into older style clamps, which are really the best ones, they rust up over time and a lot of them get pretty stiff. It makes it much faster to work out any tight spots. Uh, as far as actually making it, the original idea was to put a radius in the bottom here and the idea was to drill through it and I was only able to get the pilot hole and I wasn't able to enlarge it at all. So I ended up doing that by hand. The bandsaw cut it no problem. And then just to radius the inner edges, just use a rotary file. It's carbide and it works really well on something like this. One other tip, uh, you saw how I marked out the circle and that way I could use graph paper to figure out where the point would be for make sure the lines line up on both sides. So I use graph paper for that. I use it quite a bit. Well, I used to buy it, get the packets of it, but what I've been doing the last few years is actually just downloading it. Like this one here, waterproofpaper.com. If you just do a search on downloadable graph paper, you can, there's multiple sites and this one had multiple different sizes. So you can determine whatever you want and just print it out when you need it. Thanks for watching. Uh, take a look at uh, my other videos for other tool builds. And I also have a video on the bandsaw and the modifications that I actually used to make this. So it shows what I did on that.